Shadows of New York is yet another dive into a dangerously dark and twisted storytelling experience by developer Draw Distance. As part of the Vampire Masquerade universe, this visual novel expands upon the lore that returning fans are familiar with while also welcoming newcomers to the series. I didn't know what to expect from this title originally, but I found myself enthralled, nearly completing the tale in one sitting and looking forward to my next playthrough. Welcome to Rugged Pro Gaming where I display a real-time interactive representation of my review score which will increase or decrease in tandem with my verbal pros and cons. As always, we will begin with a perfect 10 and adjust accordingly throughout the review, but enough explaining, let's get right into it. New York can be a very difficult place to navigate through. It's a cutthroat world with constant hurdles and hoops to jump through on a day-to-day -day basis. Those who aren't a part of the hustle aren't really living, while the hardworking class remains trapped in the cycle of just trying to survive. This meat grinder of a society is something our protagonist Julia Sawinski knows all too well. Julia works as an investigative journalist, freelancing her craft away while struggling to keep her personal life marginally intact. Currently working on a story that has been in the makings for the better part of a year, Julia is subsequently awaiting a payday for her article, but all soon takes a turn for the worse. Without spoiling too much, Julia not only loses her job due to her pursuit of this story, but also goes unpaid while being behind on rent, leading to a downward spiral of beautiful misfortune. These series of events culminates at the defining moment of Julia's life. It's her ending and her new beginning. Unfortunately for Julia, life as a vampire is not as elegant as one may think. Vampires have their own set of hierarchy and Julia finds herself at the bottom of the barrel, seemingly going unnoticed by individuals with any semblance of importance. But when a mysterious murder occurs, those important individuals tax her with using her investigative talents to bring in those who are responsible. This is where the meat and potatoes of the story resides, as you progress through this whodunit adventure. I'll refrain from revealing any further plot points and in interest of keeping your experience as fresh as possible. For now, let's head over to presentation to see how this novel is presented to the viewer. Shadows of New York is presented very well in a number of different aspects, all directly aimed at immersing the viewer deeper into the storytelling. Most importantly, the writing is right up my alley. Julia specifically seems like she was written for my personal entertainment, and her no-nonsense, speak-before-she-thinks attitude is perfect for the gritty underworld of New York City. Her abrasive demeanor also pairs well with the supporting cast. She inevitably clashes with almost everyone in one way or another, but it feels consistently natural in this approach. The one thing about Julia that didn't feel natural, however, was the trait system. Throughout the story, you pick up specific traits that mold Julia into a specific type of person. Depending on what traits you have, you'll receive one of two endings. The problem with the traits are that they aren't earned during the progress of the story, but instead at specific key moments. So no matter how you've been tailoring Julia with your responses throughout the novel, it all comes down to specific responses to earn you a trait that you are stuck with. Some of the traits I received I didn't necessarily agree with. I was giving a response on how I felt Julia would react in that moment, but those decisions end up sticking with you for your entire ride. Although I didn't quite agree with my traits 100%, they do add different variations of dialogue in certain situations, further adding to the already well-written lead role. Thankfully, Julia isn't the only character that is well written. There are other individuals that create an atmosphere that can absolutely steal the show. While there are some characters that fall a bit short in terms of interest and dilute the experience with a bit of fatigue, the large majority of characters are nice additions and maintain a certain level of allure. The writing across all of the characters also remains relevant and up to date with pop culture and current events. I can't remember the last time I played a game that mentioned Kanye West, Jeffrey Epstein, Tinder, and other hot topics that are all currently on the lips of society. It's impossible to ignore these written sequences as they pull you deeper into the world, allowing your imagination to blend with reality. That imagination, however, only goes so far in a visual novel such as this. The game does a lot of the work for you in terms of building a visual representation of how the environments and characters appear. That's not a bad thing in itself, it's actually expected and welcomed. 
but the non-reliance on your imagination hurts Shadow of New York due to the underwhelming character design. The characters don't necessarily look bad, but they fall into the common tropes of vampirism, nearly all being designed as broody, obscure beings. The story wants you to believe that vampires are hiding in plain sight, but mostly all of the characters here would instill fear in the average Joe almost immediately. Again, the models aren't bad, they just don't completely fit with the narrative of the storytelling. For what it is, Shadows of New York succeeds. If you're looking for an engaging atmospheric experience told through dialogue, then this is meant for you. I'm not one to crack open a good book very often, but Draw Distance found a way to sneak some literature into my brain like I would sneak veggies into my kids' food, opening me up to a new form of gaming in the process. Obviously this isn't a game for everyone, and in some ways calling it a game feels weird, but for whatever it is, I call it a success.